A house is just a house, no matter how fancy it is. Check out this video by Joe Rogan and stay tuned for our reaction. Let me tell you something about money, kids. Once you get past a certain amount, it doesn't feel like anything different. Like, I had an apartment once when I first moved to Hollywood, and I uh, just got on television, and I was on news radio, and I was on the sitcom, and I got this nice place, and uh, it had a loft, and I had a pool table, and I was like, look at this apartment. I would walk in the apartment, I'd go, fuck, this is my apartment, this is crazy. And I would look around at it, I'd go, this is, I can't believe I actually live here. And then I got accustomed to it. And right. then and then I realized one day I was like sitting on the floor and I was like, oh, this is how everything is. Like once you get used to it, then it's just a house. Right. Like your house, it's like all your house needs to do is be comfortable and safe. And you need to have like a nice place to go to bed, a nice place to fix your meals and whatever else you're into. After you get past that, it's just a house. Yeah. All right, Kirby, you've talked about this plenty of times. And this video is funny because... The way he said it, like, you just need a good place to sleep, a good place to uh, to prepare your meals. We actually have a video where you're saying kind of the same thing. You're like, in a house, you just need a place to lay your head, make meals. And you're like, you can even eat standing. It doesn't matter. Just, you know, just efficiency. That's it. And it's true. Um, I mean, I've never, like, lived in a mansion or nothing. But... Um, I definitely had the first that same kind of impression when I moved into my house compared to living in an apartment But eventually it's just like it's just a house, you know, as long as You're comfortable there Then you know Why why have the need to upgrade or anything unless you? You know have a bunch of immigrants moving in like me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I mean Really, a house is just efficiency. We see too many people go, you know, they make a lot of money and then they buy a 12 bedroom house and it's just them and maybe their parent or something like all these influencers. I see that a lot and there's nothing fancy about a house and really, especially on a financial standpoint. If you spend too much money on a house, that's just taking away from an investment. It's funny because I saw a video, and I don't want to keep going on so I can let you speak, but I saw a video on an influencer. He just recently bought a $10 million house, and people literally thought that was an investment for him. And that's just mind-boggling, but a lot of people think that way. But I just imagine $10 million into a liability that he could have used to invest in something else. And actually, you know, created a cash flow from another source rather than streaming or whatever it was. But go into it, Kirby, what you got? Yeah, I mean, speaking on the influence of the $10 million, how much do it cost to get for upkeep of the house, for maintenance of the house? This is a thing that yeah. people, I mean, you can structure some kind of special way. And I know it'd probably be somebody in the comments saying, oh, well, it's a, it's a, it's an investment if you do this, do that. I'm talking about to the layman, everyday person. You don't get, you don't get refunds back for maintenance you've done on your house. You don't get all the upkeep, the gardeners, the uh, lawn maintenance, all that. When it's $10 million, you got a lot of stuff to do. And most people, they're outsourcing that. I mean, yeah, you're creating jobs, but there's no, you know, recourse or no recap or no regain or refund on that money when you're buying a house. Uh, Alex, I remember when you completed the uh, build of your house and, um, and then I came over. I forgot what he was doing. I probably was trying to raid your liquor cabinet or something like that. But, um, but I came over there and then, you know, I just took a seat, took a seat right there in the dining room dining room perfect you know you can see everything that's so you know and um when it's people want like hey do you want a tour of the house and i said it's just a house i mean i wasn't saying to be arrogant asshole i wasn't saying to say oh well you know his house is not bigger than mine not none of that i was saying it's a house you know some people didn't like how i said it but what i was saying is exactly what joe rogan is saying it's it's a kitchen you got bedrooms, you can sleep, you feel safe. That's all that matters. I mean, I know everybody's in the nuance of, oh, it's new or new to me or whatever. So I got to show everybody, show it off. 
I mean, for me, it's just a house. I mean, like I said, I mean, I've talked to you many a times. I, when it comes to a house I live in, I just look at it as shelter, the security. It's, you know, a place to eat. I don't care how big or how small it is. I really don't care. It's not even a big deal for me because as long as you can sleep, eat, you know, for me, watch a little football every now and then when I get time. That's all I care about. I don't need the 99 rooms. Uh, always get asked uh, by friends of mine that stay in bigger neighborhoods, houses in bigger neighborhoods. Hey, when are you coming to move over here? And I always, my answer is simple. It's what I'm going to do with the space. I say, it's me, my wife, and my son. That's it. I was like, so we're going to add three, four, five, six more bedrooms. And it's just still me, my wife, and my son. And we're going to consume maybe two of the six extra rooms that's in there. I don't have the big, you know, bar mitzvahs, parties, cookouts, everybody come over type of lifestyle. I mean, even if I did, it'd still be cheaper for me to go rent a gazebo in a park and to have just to, just to, you know, have an event, you know, once a month. I mean, you know, once a quarter, once every year, than to spend a couple, you know, four, five, six hundred thousand dollars to add extra rooms that I'm not going to use. So that's, that's, really what it is i mean i think um when people get houses over you know what they need and hell just add an extra bedroom but over that over extravagant it's all just a, a ego measuring contest not what i wanted to say but that's what it is it's an ego measuring contest people just want a bigger house to say they got a bigger house for what it's a liability uh a big one that i say is like you said alex it's you know maybe husband wife kid and then they got, you know, three or four extra bedrooms and stuff. And then they say, oh, that's for when guests come over. So the two, three times a year the guests come over to spend the night, uh, you're paying, you know, extra, you know, four or five hundred thousand dollars for those extra rooms. You was better off not having the extra rooms and just paying for them in a hotel. You still save money. But people, people care about, oh, how many bedrooms, how many baths, five bedrooms, six baths. I mean, one toilet is one toilet. You're gonna to take a dump, you take a dump. You know, what I mean, it's, you don't need you don't need all those. That's just my opinion. You know, I need at least two because you know my son he go he go shut down the shop, so I can't have one. But <laughs> anything after two, you know, anything after two, you're just doing too much. You know, and I mean, of course, you know, bigger families need bigger things, but most people, two and a half kids, what we doing out here, people? We just store money in the ground, especially when it's an owner out property. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Kirby's not saying you can't have a nice house. I've heard he's got bamboo floors in his bed in his bathroom. So, you know. Yeah, I do. I do have bamboo floors. But yeah, but, yeah, I do. But I got um, bamboo floors right here in my office. Like you can see it, like over there in the corner, right over oh, there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I do have bamboo floors, but but yeah, but yeah, I mean, but it's just my little, it's just my little shack. It's not, uh, you know, it's not. I mean, well, Alex, you've been, you know, yeah, it, yeah. it ain't, you know, Kirby lives ain't in sitting Omaha. over there off the lake. Yeah, yeah, I ain't sitting over there off the lake, uh, with boat docks and all that other crap. I ain't getting no water, man. You know, black people can't swim. <laughs> Need no water. <laughs> oh man, um. But I, I like what Joe Rogan said, too. I mean, I haven't experienced this yet, but I've heard it a lot where he says, like, once you reach a certain amount of money beyond that, it's just like it's the same. And maybe you could attest to it. I'm not familiar with that lifestyle yet, but I could definitely see how that could happen. We've talked about how unless you're trying to take Tesla space rides, you know, 50,000 a month, 60,000 a month can get you pretty much any lifestyle, you know, the lifestyle of anybody else. And, right. you know, lifestyle of financial freedom, not even financial freedom, just complete freedom. I mean, you don't have to I think that's the biggest thing for me is money, not buying material things, but buying that freedom. You know, you can decide to do whatever you want for the rest of your life and never have to worry about giving your time away to a, a company. But the house thing was on point as well. We said um, it. The money doesn't matter after a certain point. 
it doesn't. I mean, your lifestyle is not going to change. I mean, but again, that's for the mentally mature people. That's that's key. Right. It's, it's yeah. for the people that's mentally mature. The reason why Joe Rogan can say that is because he's mentally mature. He's not out here going saying, oh, he just bought a Tesla, what what an SUV or truck. So now I got to go buy two of them. You know, you know. He buy a couple cars or whatever. That's on him. You know, he has the money to do it, but he's not out there trying to say, oh, I got to one up the next person. I got to one up the next person. I got to one up my friend. If you sitting here trying to one up somebody, a friend or family, or I'll just use friend. If you try to one up them, are they really your friend? If you really have the mental capacity to be like, oh, well, Alex got six bedrooms, so I got to go get seven. <laughs> What's this? I'm like, I'll be like, Alex got six bedrooms. I'm trying to get three. That's I'm, I just go. I don't. That stuff don't matter to me. That stuff really don't matter to me. Like, I mean, cars. You know, cars. You know, get me from point A to point B. You know, now I'm starting to get into this series XM radio, basic plan. I ain't out there with the 300 channels. You know, because I don't drive that much. You know, basic plan. But series XM radio. You know, I mean, that's probably most of the necessity i need these days but most of the time i drive with the radio off but um and that just allows me to you know listen to some sports some news financial news that's that's really it it's not a it's not a big thing for me i mean i mean i, I see it all the time i just feel like wow yeah yeah it's funny because like people they always like ask me and i was thinking about this the other day people are they, they always ask me like oh you don't want to like get a new car get this that and it was funny because the other day, I'm just thinking of like, you know, I'm just constantly thinking of just acquiring. Okay, I'm saving this, investing this. Now I want to get the next property. But that's all I think about. And I'm driving my little hatchback, my little Hyundai 2013. And I was like, it's not even a thought to me to like go ahead and upgrade it. Like, I don't care. Like, I literally don't even think about like, oh, man, I need to make enough so I could get a Corvette. Like, I don't think of that like. My my little hatchback is good, <laughs> you know. But that's it. Maybe I'm like, okay, I I need to get a new battery, but you know, that's it. You know, do some maintenance so I don't break down. <laughs> but other than that, right. yeah. And I'm just it's just point A to point B for me. But with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave us a comment down below. Uh, share this video, subscribe, and then we'll see you guys on the next one.